Sport Ormus. Here I am, Donat, the new Academia student. Come and have a good look yourself. Traditional spices of the highest quality, made with pride and experience. <laughs> You've got a deal. I can't thank you enough for always looking after my business. Believe me, I'm not making this up. Several Eremite mercenary groups are nearly in open conflict, but does the core of 30 care? <sighs> and that's not all. Did you know that... Wow! Talk about hurly burly! This place is busy! Oh, guess that's only to be expected for the largest port in Sumeru. And the music uh, is gorgeous. Maybe it's because of what Dia told us earlier, but Paimon can't seem to shake the feeling that there's also danger lurking in these crowds. Ooh. Let's get our bearings so we can start looking for leads. We know that whatever the Academia lost is related to the gods. But other than that, we don't have much else to go on. Hmm. Oswald told us to try posing as academia students while asking around. Paimon checked the Akasha on the way here, and the academia doesn't seem to have any research facilities in Port Ormos. Oh, but... Paimon doesn't get it. Won't we look even more suspicious going around saying we're academia students and asking about the stolen item? Right. We shall figure that out before doing anything else. Well, given all the people that come through here every day, if there's any information to be found, Paimon bets we could find it in the market. <laughs> yep. I'm sorry, Paimon. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, how can I help you two? We would like to ask you a question. Um, do students from the Academia ever come to Port Ormos? <laughs> of course. Especially around this time of year. Students from Sumero City that are about to graduate often come to Port Ormos to cut loose a little. Many people often talk about how hard it is to get accepted into the Academia, let alone graduate. But those who finish their studies and go on to become full-time researchers at the Academia have it even harder. Sure, we may not be Sumero City, but Port Ormos offers beautiful scenery and a stress-free environment. Some even say it's good luck to come to Port Ormos, so students and researchers come flocking here when things get to be too much at the Academia. Ah, you see over there? Those are students from the Academia. Ooh. They look more worried than serious. They've been looking worried and miserable ever since they got here a few days ago. Maybe you they ask didn't me, get though, good The life of a merchant is better. So long as the Akasha teaches us what we need, then life is good. Huh? Mm -hmm. Those students seem to be discussing something. Let's see if we can listen in. Well. Where is she? Oh, oh yeah. No, I need her. I needed a carpet. Give it to me, goddamn it. It's no good. I've tried asking around, but I haven't been able to learn anything useful. Not to mention that a bunch of scary looking Aramite mercenaries have been posted along the streets now. There's been a lot of fighting between the different Aramite factions in Port Ormos. If we choose to move on our own, then it would be wise to steer clear of them. Especially the group that's constantly shouting some stuff about King Deshred and some resurrection. I've even heard that the Citadel of Regzar is starting to get fed up with them. What was that group called again? Ein something or other? They're called Ein El Achmar. Today, I heard that the thing we're after might be in their possession at the moment. Ein El Achmar? again? Before? Don't you see? Many of the Aramites in Port Ormos deal with trading this kind of thing. They're usually pretty wary of outsiders, but not so with students of the Academia. It's because the kind of goods that students are looking for aren't the kind of goods that Aramites are after. As long as they know you're a student, then deals can be made. 
I've heard that Ein el Hakmar likes to set up shop at the Jafar Tavern. Supposedly, if you're willing to part with half a million Mora, they'll give you info on anything. Oh. Wait, wait, did you say half a million? If information alone costs that much, then how could we ever afford to buy what we're looking for? <sighs> I guess we might I'm as well give up on right trying now. to graduate this way. I wouldn't worry too much. Our field of research is very niche. Who else could possibly be after that kind of shady knowledge? I bet it's practically worthless to anyone aside from us. Well, I guess that makes sense. Then the only thing left for us now is to find a way in. Why don't we all just pool our money together and pay for the information? Whoa! Did you hear that? A niche field of research and shady knowledge? It all sounds pretty suspicious to Paimon. Is knowledge something people just buy and sell like that? I was going to ask that, but I was not so sure about that. Hmm, whatever was stolen from the academia must also be related to knowledge. So, what's your plan? So, let's go to the Tafar town. I would like to go talk to the Aeromites, but every goddamn time that I see an Aeromite, we fight, so let's see. What we can get from Wait, the Jafar Tower. Didn't you hear what they just said? Buying information is going to cost us half a million Mora. Have you lost your mind? <laughs> Reliable information is worth a. Hey, I won't let them off easy if it turns out to be a scam. Oh, all right. Paima never thought she'd agree to parting with that kind of Mora. But if you know what you're doing, then we should give it a shot. Yep. I just saw a dancer behind me. Hey, 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 hey. Tougher. Tougher. Jaffa. I still have many questions like uh when are we going to um when are we going to meet Kave or or even uh, oh, hyphen. Or even Dory, that's camera. This is the place we heard those students talking about. Let's find a seat somewhere and see if we can spot the group they mentioned. Yeah, like the whole squad. Even Sino. I need to know. I need to know. You sit down and wait for some time. Oh, you've arrived. Please take a seat. So, they think that they can go toe to toe with the boss? Huh. Once we reclaim the power of King Deshret, they'll be the first that the boss punishes. <laughs> They're nothing to be afraid of. Our main rival now is the Caracal Battalion. They've also amassed a significant amount of more this time, so we mustn't underestimate them. How can the Caracal Battalion compete with the boss when they're nothing but a bunch of money-grubbing opportunists out for a quick mora? Yeah, with boss's fervent devotion. He'll be able to use this power to bring our god back this time. Huh. All these guys talk about is King Deshret. So they're probably the ones we're looking for. I will be saying that they are not discreet. We are really loud. Well, the problem is there's no one apart of us. <laughs> ah. <laughs> this place Greater is empty. Lord Ruka Devata. That traitor and her followers must not be spared. The day will come when King Deshret exacts vengeance on Sumeru, and all of them shall be punished. Uh, are they talking about the Archon War or something like that? Yeah, Paimon was wondering what they meant too. We should ask about that if we get the chance later. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Hello there, Tarek. How are you doing? Huh? Who are you? What do you want? My name is Danak. I'm a student from the Academy. A student? <laughs> What's a student from Sumeru City doing in Port Ormos? Don't I have the right to move like I want, okay? I'm looking for info about a Sam... I... I'm looking for info about a certain song. Ah, well, if it's info you want, you've come to the right place. The yeah. question is, can you afford it? Thank you, Paimon. <laughs> Here, this is the merchant's address. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it there. Hmm? Well, what are you waiting for? I just have one more question. Oh, that's right! We heard you mention King Deshret just now. We're actually interested to know more because... Uh... Because we're... Fine. Since you've already handed over the Mora, I guess I can throw in a little extra info. As you can see, members of Ain al Ahmar are devout believers of King Deshret. Years ago, King Deshret founded the great desert nation that was our homeland. It was an advanced civilization, far beyond anything you'll see in present day Sumeru. Oh. King Deshret was the rightful god of wisdom, but he was betrayed by a companion he trusted. She even stripped him of his title God of Wisdom. So, you mean the traitor was... Ruka Devata? Greater Lord Ruka Devata, yes. That shameless wretch destroyed King Deshret's civilization. And our ancestors were forced to flee to this land where we were made to suffer the tyranny of our enemies. Furthermore, she conspired with the Academia to cover up the truth of her actions and create the merciful and benevolent facade for which she is now known. Ugh, just thinking about it sickens me. Oh, so there were... Two races, quote unquote. Uh, the desert people and the people of the forest, something like that. Or am I just tripping? But the story doesn't end there. Oh no. King Deshret isn't truly dead. The voice of the Oracle has been heard in the desert, prophesying his resurrection. Mark my words, our God shall return. And when that day comes, all followers of the traitor and all the desert dwellers who have forgotten their true god will suffer retribution together. If what I'm saying makes you shiver with fear, it might not be too late for you to become a believer of King Deshret. <laughs> King Deshret return. I don't have anything to say to you academia people about that. I think this conversation has reached its end. Not just yet. This man... Is a fraud. I hate huh? him. My boy. You again? T deranged academia lunatic. Yes, it's me again. I already warned you that if you weren't willing to sit and discuss things with me, I'd take measures to make things uncomfortable for you. Listen to me. That address he gave you is fake. Or at least you won't find a merchant waiting for you there. This group has been boasting all around that they can provide information on a certain item as a means of luring people into their territory. No. Once you show up, they keep up the act until they have hard evidence that you want to purchase said item. Then they use that to squeeze you for all the more of your worth. Hey! Shut it all, Haytham! What are you playing at trying to ruin our business like this, hmm? That is a business, bro. I That's told you the other day. I wish to discuss wish my to terms discuss with my, my boss. With your boss. Ha! The boss made it perfectly clear that he won't negotiate with you. Yes, and in no uncertain terms. But that was then. It does not preclude him from changing his mind in the future. I'm warning you, don't push us, or this could get ugly. We don't usually get rough with people from the academia because it just complicates things. For a lunatic like you, though, we might just have to make an exception. Listen, bro. I hate them so the I hate them the best. Man feels the PS I don't really think that you're gonna do something. If you're suggesting that we escalate this from a verbal exchange to a physical one, I accept. After mm -hmm. all, 
Even the Archons used war to negotiate the ownership of Tevat. Yeah. If, on the other hand, we can't agree on any means of negotiation at all. Then I'm afraid my next course of action will sting a little more than the mere falling through of a few business deals. Okay. I will jeopardize the Aramite's reputation, which I know you value above all else. I am quite confident that if I began to take such action, your boss would willingly approach me himself. However, I fear that by then, some things will have happened that cannot be undone. Also, a word of advice. I suggest you tell your boss exactly what happened here today. Otherwise, he might blame you for not telling him in the future. What did you say? Consider this. Have I ever failed to follow through on my word in the past? This guy is really out of his mind. Okay, then. If you really have a death wish, let's meet a week from today. The pier in front of the Pharos Lighthouse, four o'clock in the afternoon, sharp. Don't expect us to hold back. Oh, fine. Not so fast. First, you return the 500,000 more to them. Go on, talk. Talk to Thank you. I'll hate them. I'll hate Please, them. I'll... I beg you, don't provoke them. I'll hate them. We can't afford Thank any you. trouble with this crowd. They haven't even paid for their food yet. Ah, Mr. Iman. There appears to be fewer staff in the restaurant recently. This wouldn't happen to be because they're all busy spreading the word to the students, would it? I, uh... Well, <laughs> well, bro, you someone who are chooses to do rough. business with a group like that really can't afford to get Dude, so flustered shit. the instant someone confronts them about it. Consider the meal compensation for our silence. I'd say you're getting an excellent deal. Whoa, did you see that? He not only got us our mora back, but sent the Amorites running too. Oh, Tortaglia, he's got you behind. Behind that mask, bro. Giving me much more, more and more, more. Plus, he seems to know a lot about what's going on around here. Let's catch yeah. up with him and ask some questions. Okay. My boy. Thank you for your help. Okay. No need for thanks. My goal was to get to them, and you two gave me just the opportunity I needed. We're even. Oh, I advise you to keep your distance from them. Since they weren't able to make off with your mora in the end, they might harass you again in the future. Okay, may I come with All you? All right. Goodbye. Wait a second, my handsome. Hold your horses! We still have something to ask you about! Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Since you tore through their scam right in front of them, you must know the real story about a... Ahem... <clears throat> certain something, no? Who exactly are you two? And why are you inquiring about that? Well, I am a student from the Acadi <coughs> Academia. A student? <laughs> right. Look, you should know that those thugs conducting business with you had nothing to do with your lie. I think that she brought something. Huh? Oh, yeah! He's really strong! Weren't you saying something about a physical exchange? We can help with that. <laughs> he doesn't even have a vision. Forget it. But I can use Maybe the elements. Not, but he can still use elemental energy. Otherwise, there's no way we'd go asking for info from I'm... I'll... I... Um... From guys like that! I know. Those high-headed thugs are definitely going to bring a lot of backup for your next meeting. Even if you don't go alone, you won't regret taking us with you. Yep. Hmm. Uh... <sighs> All right. I accept. Got a pen and paper? If you're searching for someone who sells that kind of merchandise, I'll give you one of their addresses, and you can try your luck. We'll okay. reconvene at the appointed time by the pier. It doesn't matter if you show up or not. Um, so, since you were happy to give us this merchant's information, does that mean you can tell us exactly what we're after? 
You were willing to part with 500,000 Mora for something and you didn't even know what it was? Guess I'm a rich boy. <laughs> okay. Well, if you truly are as skilled as you claim, then you can beat the answer out of them when they become hostile. Look, okay. if you've been making inquiries, then you have to know something by now. Tell me what you know so far, so I don't waste time repeating information. We know it's connected to the academia somehow, and that not only do the Aramites deal in it, but some students want to get a hold of it too. Hmm, what else? It seems like some kind of knowledge. You know almost everything there is to know, but you're oh. unable to compile this information because you've never seen the object before. This is what you've been looking for. Is that a teleporter? Huh? Paimon can't tell what it is. It looks like some kind of ornament. This is a knowledge capsule. To put it simply, it's a vessel that can store a fixed quantity of canned knowledge. It's okay. like a miniature Akasha. Yeah. Anyone who links it to their personal Akasha terminal instantly becomes privy to its contents. Wait, I have a question. Is it like a new um, USB flash or something like that that you put in your computer then you have more knowledge, quote-unquote knowledge? If yes, can you... Can somebody put... Um, virus into the knowledge capsule or put false knowledge <sighs> or put falsified knowledge into the capsule to make something to your Akasha terminal? Who knows? Correct. Anyone? Anyone. Unlike the Akasha, which heavily regulates who can access what information, knowledge capsules can further contents without any requisites. Amazing. Not really amazing, Paimon. It's essentially a convenient and harmless vestibule for knowledge. Unfortunately, it's illegal in Sumeru to privately possess or trade them. They were created as a means for scholars to transfer knowledge gained from Ermansoul into the Akasha, and are intended to be destroyed immediately after use. But despite strict regulations, some of these knowledge capsules will always escape destruction. After all, there will always be those in this world who are dissatisfied with life as designed for them by the Akasha and wish to change their fate. Over the past century, a wide variety of canned knowledge has been leaked from the Academia. Now, in Port Ormos, the valuable ones are a means to Mora for the Aramites. Meanwhile, those which the Aramites deem to be useless to them occasionally prove useful to the common citizens and hapless Academia students. Well. I think that about sums it up. Three, two, one. Seems like it's a knowledge capsule. Oh, so that's your true objective. I just want to learn more With about With our it. current arrangement, I don't believe I can offer an answer. Perhaps we can negotiate further. <sighs> You're still resolved. Yep. Fine. Let's talk somewhere with fewer people. Mm hmm. Let's continue our conversation here. If you wish to learn more about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost, then you must help me with something. I need you to find someone named Dory, a traveling merchant. Oh, that leaves. Unlike the peddlers who hawk ah. inferior knowledge capsules, she often has quality goods in stock. Some say that as long as there is profit to be made, there is nothing she won't dare to sell. She's guarded against people from the academia because most of her wares don't comply with academia regulations. I think she blacklisted me. I met with her informant but it soon became clear that they had no intention of letting me get any further. Okay. Become one of Dory's customers and earn her trust. This is my condition for further collaboration. So, yes, sir. Why do you want us to meet with her? Until you complete this task, you don't have question privileges. <sighs> Fine. So how do we go about doing this? You two are outlanders who haven't been here for long, so Dory should view you as safe clients. 
I'll give you the informant's address and their contact password. Beyond the password, though, I have no way of knowing what other tricks she might have up her sleeve. You'll have to improvise. Okay. Uh, this is kind of nerve-wracking. The true challenge begins after you meet her. She has a keen nose for Mora and a shrewd eye for wares, and she only likes customers who she deems to have good taste. I'll prepare some funds for you. Buy her highest quality wares and earn her approval. What? Okay, we only sir. just saw our knowledge capsule for the first time. We don't know how to tell which ones are good and which ones are bad. Uh, is that something we can learn quickly? Maybe by using our own elemental sight. But I'm not so sure about that. Hmm, that's true. Have you two heard of elemental sight? Ah. Hey, well. Well, that was obvious, bro. Oh, <laughs> that's a surprise. I guess I'll have to hold you in higher regard. Anyway, that ability should resolve your issue. Okay. See you later, I'll take them. Here are two knowledge capsules. Tell me, can you detect any difference in their quality? Same to Paimon. Doll, use your element. Try so inspecting sight. them with elemental sight. Okay. How'd it go? Did you see anything? The one on the left shines bright. Rumor has it that higher quality knowledge capsules generally appear brighter when viewed through elemental sight. Okay. That's because knowledge originates from Ermin Soul, the root of Dendro Power itself. The more powerful the knowledge, the richer it is in dendro energy. However, some canned knowledge with a high concentration of elemental energy is of little use in contemporary times, so those capsules okay. are of little value. Using elemental sight is merely a stopgap measure, but it should suffice for earning Dory's trust. That sounds pretty impressive. Here's a sheet with the informant's location and contact password, and here is the Mora for purchasing canned knowledge. Thank you. Don't be cheap. You'll need to spend to catch Dory's eye. If there's an oh, and be sure to exercise some caution. There have been Matra present in Port Ormos lately. Your efforts will be for naught if they catch you. Matra? Hmm. They belong to the Academia's regulatory body. They also handle cases of illegal canned knowledge transactions. Like I said, the Academia has banned both their trade and possession. The Matra are razor sharp. You're in for nothing good if they lock their sights onto you. If you two want to back out, now's the time. I'll help you. Find Dory. Okay, then we have a deal. If you succeed in your dealings with Dory, come find me at the Wikela Funduk. We'll have an open discussion then. Okay. Looking at what Alhatham wrote, Dory's informant is a trainer near Old Ormos. Let's follow these instructions and try to get in contact with him. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> After getting scammed, then we can be back. For more. Welcome back, my loyal patrons. What can I do for you this time? Repay us. You name it. Can knowledge, supplies, or anything else you need. I'll find a way to get it. Where there's a waterfall of Mora, there's a way. Can you really get us anything we want? Anything at all? Uh-huh. So it appears that can knowledge alone is no longer sufficient for your opulent appetite. <sighs> then please oblige me. Tell me what you have in mind. I'd like to buy info on the whereabouts of the divine knowledge capsule. Oh! <laughs> I knew customers with pockets as deep as yours would undoubtedly crave something more profound than ordinary canned knowledge. But you know, that kind of information isn't going to be cheap. After all, I had to work really hard to weasel my way into the auction site. Not to mention that if anyone found out that I was the leaker, I would be in big, big trouble. But how can we be sure 
sure your information is accurate. Paimon's curious. How you just happen to have this kind of info the moment we need it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because to me, anything of value is what I consider to be my supply. Therefore, I must always be aware of what's hot on the market in order to secure more sales. As for the information's authenticity, well, you've no need to worry about that. I used a camera to take a picture of the transaction. That way, no one can dispute it. Name your price. It's always a pleasure doing business with such sterling patrons. <clears throat> now that you've paid in full, here's the scoop. The Divine Knowledge Capsule was purchased yesterday by a certain Misery, the leader of Ain El Ahmar. Ain El Ahmar? Oh. You mean the Aramites who worshipped King Deshrit? Ah, so you're already familiar with them. The group has done everything in their power to obtain the Divine Knowledge Capsule. After all, they believe it contains the power of King Deshret. That Divine Knowledge Capsule is unlike any other can knowledge I've seen before. It was glowing bright red. Value is what I consider to be my supply. As for the information's authenticity, well, you've no need to worry about that. I used a camera to take a picture of the transaction. It's always a pleasure doing business with such sterling patrons. <clears throat> now that you've paid in full, here's the scoop. The Divine Knowledge... I'm El Ahmar. You mean the Aramites who worshipped King Deshret? Mm -hmm. Ah, so you're already familiar with them. The group has done everything in their power to obtain the Divine Knowledge Capsule. After all, they believe it contains the power of King Deshret. That Divine Knowledge Capsule is unlike any other canned knowledge I've seen before. It was glowing bright red. The capsule is clearly visible in the picture I took. You can look for yourself. Thanks for the info, Dory. Please, it's my pleasure. It's all thanks to discerning customers such as yourselves that my efforts yesterday were not in vain. Please, don't hesitate to contact me if you ever need anything else in the future. More up for Dory, open stores. Well, we figured out where the Divine Knowledge Capsule is. It turns out it ended up in the hands of Ein El Ahmar. Let's head back and talk to Al Haytham. Al Haytham, we got the info you wanted. Really? All right. Let's hear it. It's in the hands of Ayn al -Ahmar. Dory even gave us evidence to verify the intel. Have a look. Huh, look at that. Clear as day. It must have taken some guts just to infiltrate the scene of the Aramite's transaction. But then, to get close enough to take a picture like this. Bold move, Dory. Very bold move. All right. The person in this picture is indeed Misery, the leader of Ain al Ahmar, and the glowing red capsule he's holding appears to be the Divine Knowledge capsule. Oh, so in which case, scammers. if we play our cards right, when we confront them next week, we should be able to force them to show their hand. At first, Paimon didn't get why you were provoking these Ain al Ahmar guys, but now it sort of makes sense. Everything's playing right into your hands. Mm -hmm. After we defeat them, we can finally have a serious talk with their boss and get them to lend us the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Thank you for your time and efforts. Take a few days off while I make some preparations. Let's meet up again on the afternoon of the arranged date, 3 o'clock sharp. So, yes, sir. See you then. See you then. Sure is taking his time. Where could he be? Oh, there he is. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head to the pier in front of Faro's lighthouse. Yep, let's go. Let's go. I'll hate them. I knew you were crazy, but I didn't know you were crazy enough to actually show up. Wait, 
Is there going to be a fight between us? It was I who demanded that these negotiations take place. I was more worried that you might go back on your promise. This is turning into quite an occasion. I also brought some backup. I assume you don't mind. Backup? Aren't you the brat from the restaurant the other day? You've come to support this lunatic because he helped you out? <laughs> Fine. Your funeral. I'm not going to mince my words. Once we're done with you, you'll be nothing more than fish food. Get him, boys! Got him. Uh-oh. Here no. they come. Uh, good luck, you two. Academia scum! <laughs> <sighs> Boss! Finally! Did you use it? Great! Now we can. Uh -huh. <sighs> Boss? <sighs> <sighs> Do not impede our work. Is that understood, all Haytham? Of course. I was only trying to help. Take him away! Same words as in the. Uh, uh, what in right. Tibet just happened? It's like that big guy suddenly lost his mind. It looks like he used the divine knowledge capsule. You mean the divine knowledge capsule did that to him? Speaking of which, Papasia did mention. Oh yeah, you mean how some researchers go insane after getting knowledge from Ermansoul? Yeah, Ermintel, Ermintel. I've heard of numerous incidents of researchers in Satyavada life going insane. The state that man is now in suggests that this is a similar situation. This divine knowledge capsule does appear to be linked to the gods, but beyond that, it doesn't seem anything like the rumors suggest. Possessing it doesn't grant you divine wisdom or power. Did you hear what he said? World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? Well, that's exactly what I heard before at an art urban If the mantra took him away, then that means the academia got the divine knowledge capsule back too. Yeah. Uh, what a shame. We were so close. Still, Paimon didn't expect the divine knowledge capsule would be so dangerous. Imagine if we tried to open it. Oh, who knows what would have happened to us? As things stand, there is no reason for me to remain in Port Ormos. I believe our collaboration has also reached its end. Oh, we were so busy trying to find the Divine Knowledge Capsule that Paimon forgot to ask you something. Since you're a member of the Academia, do you have any idea how we could go about meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali? Truthfully, I don't. Lesser Lord Kusanali appears to exist outside of Sumeru's entire administration. Most of the time, you wouldn't know she exists at all. Moreover, 
Since the Academia possesses the Akasha, a symbol of our deity's wisdom, scholars have no reason to desire to make contact with the deity herself anyway. Uh, everything about Lesser Lord Kusanali is such a mystery! I'm heading back to the Academia. How about you two? Uh, it's almost the day of the Sub-Zero's festival! Maybe we should head back too. We've been rushed off our feet over the past few days, so maybe a little rest and relaxation will do us good. Let's return to Sumeru City. Then we'll part ways here, I'll hate them. Until we meet again. Until we meet again. Hmm. Now, do I deal with this thing first? Or should I produce the report that the higher-ups require? Where did you hide that big-ass thing? Through mist and smoke, it's always dark. Yeah. Oh. Thank you for watching the video, everybody. It was nice.